welcome to automation with pravin kumar today i will demonstrate how to explain re framework in interview and later on we will go practical you must know re framework instant for robotic enterprise framework generally anyone given to you project just start use any kind of sequence flow chart or state machine and complete your project when it comes enterprise there is some standard to be follow you cannot simply go and create sequence flow chart or state machine and process it is not possible that way so you should have proper standard which is error free bug free which is easy to understand and lot of things to achieve that we will using re framework just go for ui path studio and click robotic enterprises framework given them suppose are framework demo click on create button this is re framework template guys you can see it this is quite simple let let's understand this is quite easy all of you please continue don't skip video while i do it ensure you do practice and end of the session i will ensure you will and you will understand our framework there are four different st state first one is a any serialization second one gate transaction data gate transaction data and third one process transaction and last final state in the process one is your initialization i am going to show you in detail in initialization two things happen could be system error or success successful let's say if not able to start application or excel file didn't did not open then move to the system exception eps we are able to open the application or we are able to open any file or excel then 
it will successful and move to the get transaction data. So in, in initialization, here we have to read config file. And kill open application. Finally, in a slice, all application like open SAP or open web browser. We, we have in it all setting. And uh, in it all application, we have to open the application like XE file. Second one is get transaction okay here we have achieved getting item from q here we just get the data from q okay get transaction button. And third, we, third one process transaction we can achieve. Let's see here. This is third, third stage. Was data process successfully or there is any business uh, exception while processing data? Any kind of error go to any stage. We get any exception, we go to the any stage and get data again. Basically, here we deal with incorrect data like business exception. And deal with application reach or system value. Okay. And last one is a finalist like in the process. This one. In interview, they might ask how many states are there in our framework. You would say four states. As of now, framework architecture is clear. Let's do practically. 
what i have to do this for job for me is there is a website you must know about this website for all kind of ui path practice in this website i have got a excel file which has got name first name and address so this data i have to upload this website before implement rf framework to data supposed to there into queue this one is a I have to go UI path platform, then click on add key. I am going to give a name like taste and click on add. I have to create dispatcher type of workflow for dispatch data for that we have to create sequence given name upload data to so first off i have to read the excel data go to studio activity panel for read data we have to use read range activity sheet name sheet 1 here i will create data table output like dt once you read i want upload data one by one for that i will use for each row activity here mention data table name just i will create it dt so i want upload data so so i want add q item right hand side 
फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इंटर क्यू नेम गो टू यू आई पाथ प्लेटफॉर्म कॉपी क्यू नेम टेस्ट पेस्ट यू now what data you want to write so i will create argument my first data is as per excel excel row name so in num string value way to write like row excel file exact name to string so that way this data will capture similar way we'll repeat this let's run and upload the data then we will go rfm एग्जीक्यूशन इज कंप्लीटेड लेट मी ओपन क्यू एंड ड्यू ट्रांजेक्शन click on view details see pranab kumar pranab kumar okay we will upload the data from queue now we will go to ari framework inside ari framework open initialization
I want upload data to website. Simple go to invoke init all application. Okay. Open workflow. I have to open the website. Drag open browser. Go to activity. Right. Open browser. Yes. Write the URL name. Before we go to RE framework project data, open the config file. Write queue name. Taste. Just save and close it. We have to start every time. Okay. So go to click button activity. Go to inside the browser. and save. If I go to get transaction data, here just we download the data, okay? Already we did. Next step is process transaction. So open process transaction. I have to invoke process. Here I have to take each data and upload website. For that, we go to the process XML file workflow and open workflow here. Just remove this. Drag attach browser activity. We have to indicate browser screen. Because you, our value is changing always. 
For that, we have to use anchor based activity. You go to UI Path Studio, write anchor. Anchor based activity. I have to use find element activity. And indicate browser. Like first name. First. So always change change anchor position is top. Next thing we have to use type info. Type into. Indicate first name. For each the data from Q, use variable in transaction here click dot specific content inside this mention. Yes. Now I have to run and see the data enter valid or not. started in slicing killing open application
Now open the browser. Let's wait and see. Now entering the data from Q. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you understand RE framework for interview purpose and practically also. Thanks for watching.